I have good and bad news about DJI's new flagship drone, the Mavic 4 Pro. The good news is that it's the most technologically advanced consumer drone I've ever tested. The bad news is that it's not yet on sale in America due to Trump's tariffs and other market uncertainties, and there's no word on when it will be. The Mavic 4 Pro has a wild new round gimbal housing a triple camera system. It can shoot up to 6K at 60 frames per second with 16 stops of dynamic range, beating any drone and most cameras too. DJI also boosted top speed, battery life and range while adding a new LiDAR system for improved obstacle avoidance. On top of that, it comes with an innovative new foldable controller, the RC Pro 2. I've had the Mavic 4 Pro for a couple of weeks now here in France and it performs even better than the specs would suggest. Though expensive, this drone is so polished and capable that nothing else remotely compares. The trademark feature is the big round triple camera infinity gimbal that rotates freely to allow improved stabilization and more interesting camera angles. Plus, full resolution vertical video for social media. The propeller arms have been updated so they can be folded and unfolded in any order, unlike the Mavic 3 Pro. The body is also more aerodynamic to boost efficiency and speed, but slightly heavier than before. The standard Mavic 4 Pro is equipped with 42GB of usable storage, while the Creator Combo model comes with a generous 460GB of higher speed storage. Both models have a micro SD card as well. It ships with the RC2 screen controller in the basic and fly more kits. However, DJI also introduced its new flagship controller, the RC2 Pro. The 7-inch HDR display tilts up to give pilots a multi-angle view, and the joysticks collapse into the body for easier storage. It has DJI's typical complement of controls, including a button that flips the camera 90 degrees. The RC2 Pro also comes with an HDMI and USB-C port, along with Wi-Fi 6 for high-speed data transfers. The new 95 watt hour batteries support up to 51 minutes of flight time or 40 to 45 minutes in typical use, up significantly from the 30 to 35 minutes of real world battery life on the Mavic 3 Pro. They also charge much faster at 51 minutes for a battery via USB C or 90 minutes for three batteries with the Fly More Kit charger. The Mavic 4 Pro can fly at up to 56 miles per hour in sport mode without obstacle detection, up from 47 miles per hour before. Top speed in normal mode with tracking and obstacle detection is also faster at 40 miles per hour. It lacks the agility of the DJI Mini 4 Pro due to its size though, and can't maneuver around people or tight spaces due to the lack of prop guards. Noise from the Mavic 4 Pro is unchanged from the Mavic 3 Pro at 83 decibels. However, the frequency is lower and less bothersome, especially when it's flying close to people. So uh, props to DJI for that improvement. The new O4 Plus transmission system provides a better flying experience as well. The Mavic 4 Pro can now transmit a bright HDR video signal from up to 18.6 miles away, double that of the Mavic 3 Pro. Though most pilots won't venture that far away, I found the Mavic 4 Pro less susceptible to interference and dropouts than before. Subject tracking is available via the Active Track 360 function, which allows you to manually control the drone position while keeping your subject in frame. It's also designed to keep subjects in focus, even if they're partially obscured. The Mavic 4 Pro stayed locked on a car driving at up to 30 miles per hour with full obstacle avoidance. When filming a bike rider, it chose interesting and random routes around trees that often yielded cinematic greatness. However, that behavior also caused a crash into a small tree branch, but luckily it caused no visible or functional damage. The drone also worked well as a vlogging tool, following me on a preset ActiveTrack 360 path. I also flew the Mavic 4 Pro at night around obstacles to test the LiDAR and low light sensors, and it passed with flying colors. The LiDAR capability will also help you bring the drone home safely at night, but remember, it only works in the forward direction. The Mavic 4 Pro can also retrace flight paths to find its way home without the GPS. 
With its new camera system, the Mavic 4 Pro has the best video quality I've ever seen on any consumer drone. The main Hasselblad branded 28mm wide camera has a 100 megapixel dual ISO 4 thirds sensor. It supports 6K 60 frame per second or 4K 120 frame per second, along with DJI's professional D Log and D Log M modes to max out dynamic range. It also comes with a variable f2 to f11 aperture for better depth of field control and more usability in sunlight. The Infinity Gimbal also houses a 70mm tally lens with a 1 by 1.3 inch sensor like the one on the Mini 4 Pro. Plus, there's a longer 168mm camera with a 1 by 1.5 inch sensor. Both feature an f2.8 aperture, 4K 60p video and D-Log along with subject tracking autofocus and dual native ISO. 6K and 4K video quality on the Hasselblad camera is incredibly sharp and color accurate, while providing good dynamic range, particularly with sky and cloud details. Switching over to D-Log mode further boosts dynamic range, but makes color correction a bit trickier. I liked using D-Log M to get a good balance between ease of adjustment and dynamic range. Note that the base Mavic 4 Pro captures H.265 video, but the Creator Combo version, with its faster internal storage, adds H.264 Ally support for easier editing. ProRes is no longer an option like it was on the Mavic 3 Pro, however. The Mavic 4 Pro beats all other consumer drones in low light thanks to its dual native ISO feature. When shooting a cityscape at dusk at ISO 6400 and up, grain was easy to tamp down with a bit of noise reduction. And if shooting at dawn or dusk, the D-Log mode provides enough dynamic range to balance light sky and dark ground areas. Photo quality is also outstanding with incredible levels of detail in the 100 megapixel mode. For low light shooting though, it's best to stick with 25 megapixels to reduce noise. DJI's raw capture makes it easy to fine tune photos shot in contrasty lighting conditions. The 70 mm 1 by 1.3 inch telecamera is great for taking portraits or getting in tighter when shooting landscapes. It can easily be mixed and matched with footage from the main camera though detail and low light capability isn't as good. The 168mm 1 by 1.5 inch camera offers mediocre video quality, but it's great for capturing wildlife and birds. The Mavic 4 Pro is an improvement over its predecessor in nearly every area. It's a great example of how DJI stays far ahead of rivals by innovating and polishing its drones. The closest alternative in price and capability is Otel's Evo 2 Pro 6K, but that drone has a single camera system with a smaller sensor, less endurance, and shorter range. The lack of US availability is a major issue that's bound to cause a furor with drone enthusiasts in the nation. And there's still a great risk that sales of DJI drones will be completely banned in the US by the end of the year. The company has insisted that its drones pose no national security risk and says it welcomes any scrutiny. The Mavic 4 Pro is now on sale in most regions except the US, starting at about $2,360. If you want a high quality cinema drone and can afford the Mavic 4 Pro, I wouldn't hesitate. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more on technology, check out Engadget.com.